Do you wanna have better video quality during your virtual meetings or when you're recording videos? I have the perfect app for you. Hi, I'm Stephanie Gizaki, and this is day four of my Vlogmas Favorite Things video series. So I'm gonna share with you today an amazing app that is combat compatible with an iPhone or Android operate or Android and with a Mac or a PC. So this app is just so amazing. You could use your phone as a virtual camera and a lot of cameras that are inside phones now are so much better than any webcam that's currently on the market. So not, not every, but some, some webcams that are currently on the market. So I have a Logitech Brio and I'm going to show you the difference between that virtual camera and um, Camel, which I am taking um, or take, doing this video with and see how you can see my hands. I mean, they're a little bit blurry, but not too bad. Let me show you what it looked like on the Logitech Brio. So here are, I did two screen grab images. One you'll see on the left hand side is my Logitech Brio. And that one is kind of fuzzy. You totally can't see my fingers. Um, yes, I have an expressive face. So these are a little crazy screen grabs. But then over on the right hand side, the um, lighting is a little bit different, but you can actually see my fingers. My fingers were in motion at that time. So see how it's kind of more crisp and clear. And then um, it's not as fuzzy and it's not as jumpy either. It's very, very, very smooth. I absolutely love it and it's so easy to use. So let me show you what the app looks like. I won't be able to show you what the app looks like on my phone since I'm recording this on my phone, but it's really easy to use. You download the app on your phone and then um, you just open it up. And then when you download the app on your computer, so you can see two versions of me now. <laughs> so on the left-hand side, that is the actual video feed that's coming through the app right into my computer. And on the right-hand side is the Camel app. So you could change a lot of things in here and I'm using it on an iPhone. So you can see that right up here um, at the top, you can change the mode. You could change the lens. You could put it ultra wide and I am not going to put it ultra wide right now just because I have a mess on both sides here and I don't know how wide this is going to go. I probably should have tested this out, but I'm not going to show you the ultra wide. Maybe in another video that I'll do that. There's a telephoto lens that will get right up. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll do this for you. You could see like right up on my eyeballs. Look at that. Oh, but then I'm gonna go back just to the wide. And then there's a selfie one too, which will take, um, take you to the face camera. And then you could change your resolution. There's different audio. I don't use the audio. Um, and then there's, uh, there's different presets too. And I don't know if everybody has, sorry, I had to look over to the side there. I don't know if everybody has these same presets because I have purchased the paid version, but the free version has so many options that you can use. You don't have to get the paid version. I got it because I wanted a few more options. Um, but you can, oh gosh, I don't even know. I should have tested these out again before. I usually don't use all of these, but I'll test this out with you guys so you can see. Oh, that's uh, a little bit crazy. So let's try, that's Lemonada. Let's try, ooh, what is the 19, ooh, yeah. No, that one's bad too. Okay, you kind of play around with this stuff. What was that really funny one? Was it Orc Attack? Okay, look, oh my gosh, look at my face. That's so crazy. I think I'm just going to put it back on no presets, but there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this, like some of those presets, if you wanted to have a really entertaining virtual meeting or your recorded videos. Um, but I just use the basic version of, or not the basic version, but just all the basic presets that Camel already has in there. And I have been using this for um, a few months and I absolutely love it. There is one little thing I'll tell you that um, I just figured out recently is when you are plugging it in, if you have a powered USB hub, don't plug it into that. Plug it directly into one of your computer ports because what I found is that if you plug it into the um, your powered USB hub, it's kind of gets choppy and blurry and it just looks awful. So plug it directly into your computer. All right, that is the Camo app and I will see you tomorrow for day five.